Hey everybody, this is Jared Dees with uh, Vimrea Press. Today I want to share five quick ways to use screencasts as a teacher in the classroom or outside of the classroom. A screencast, for those of you who don't know what it is, is exactly what I'm doing now. It's a video recording of the computer screen along with an audio recording of um, you or, or someone talking over um, what you're doing on the screen. So what I have here is just a one PowerPoint slide that I'm going to skim through to share these five ways that you can use screencasts um, if you're a teacher. The first way is helping to explain homework assignments. Um, tell me if this picture isn't a little bit uh, familiar to you. A, a student gets home after you've explained a, a, an in-depth and important homework assignment they get home and they forget how to do the assignment they forget the way you explained it and parents maybe try to help they don't understand it either and you get an angry phone call an email in the middle of the night about the homework assignment and the kids come in the next day and they don't have it finished correctly so this is one way to do it is just explain in a screencast how to actually do the assignment maybe walking them through step by step what they need to do so that if they forget what you said in class they can go back to the video and watch an explanation. Second way is just to supplement your lectures. This is kind of the way um, classes are run today, but you can take what you do in class and transform it into a little bit of a, a lecture or mini lecture online to either add to what you've talked about in class or to clarify things or to um, go over things that you maybe missed during the day. Third thing you can do is answer some questions. If there's some frequently asked questions that you get in class or maybe one session of the class, somebody asks a great question, you want to make sure you cover it in the other classes, record it and um, put it online or put it on one of your, uh, if you have a web page or a Moodle page or a wiki page, um, you can do that. And you can constantly go back to it and refer back to it year after year um, in the future when you have those similar questions about complex topics. Number four, digital storytelling, which is a, a popular thing that's that's growing in schools and, and by students and teachers. Uh, tell a story. Don't just deal with facts, but give the facts an explanation in a story, storied way, or summarize a story with visual images um, and record it, and give it to the kids to watch or watch it in class and then discuss it. This this will open up the classroom for more in-depth critical thinking and, and, and creative discussion. And finally, number five is getting the technology into the students' hands. It's not very complex. Um, if you have some computers and some little bit of a um, audio um, hardware for recording, you, you, the students can get it done, and they can record some things as assessments. Maybe they can record prayers um, for your class, or um, yeah, maybe they can ask you questions by video screencast and, and send them to you by email or posting them somewhere um, so that you can address that. So five quick ways to, to use screencasts in the classroom.